What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video, we're taking a look at Hawkmoon, how you can get your hands on it, but also all the feather locations and the fastest and easiest way to get those champion kills. So if you're struggling at various steps throughout this quest, be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're brand new here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now today I've seen another weekly reset which at first glance appeared to be just a new Iron Banner but also the return of the Prophecy Dungeon. But to our surprise we also had the introduction of the Hawkmoon exotic quest. Now the Hawkmoon itself is a reprised exotic hand cannon from Destiny 1. Now this has made a return and is now part of Destiny 2 but it comes with some interesting changes. Now it's still 140 rounds per minute, it comes with 8 in the magazine and its main intrinsic trait is called Paracausal Shot. Now final blows and precision hits with Hawkmoon grant stacks of paracausal charge and the final round in the magazine deals bonus damage based on the number of stacks and stowing Hawkmoon on the final round will also remove that bonus. It also comes with an alternative trait called transformative where future drops of the weapon will have a random roll. So this actually makes Hawkmoon the first randomly rolled exotic available inside Destiny 2. What we don't know yet though is what sort of perks are in that column and what sort of additional bonuses we could be expecting. Now to kick this quest off you first need to go visit the spider over in the Tangled Shore. The very first step has you searching for five hawk feathers. Now the first one we need to find we need to search outside the spider's lair. Now as you exit the spider's lair you'll enter Thieves Landing but before you go anywhere on one of the fallen structures to your left hand side you'll find the first hawk feather. Now for the second feather we need to head over to the European Dead Zone. On the north side of the map you'll find the Sludge and specifically a lost sector called Hallowed Grove. Now opposite this there is a rusted outbuilding and the second Hawk's Feather can be found on the landing on the first floor level. Now for the third feather we need to head over to the Cosmodrome and over by Shaw Han. Now when you spawn in directly by him you'll need to climb up to grab the third hawk's feather on the top of this broken outbuilding. Now for the next hawk feather we need to head over to the dreaming city and the Delvlian mists. Now the big door that normally opens for the last wish raid where you enter for the blind well is the location for the next hawk's feather. You'll find it on the left hand side over on this ledge. Now for the fifth and final feather we need to head over to the moon and specifically the Shrine of Oryx. This is where the cutscene between the Crow and Osiris took place at the beginning of the season. Quickest way to this is heading over to Archer's Line and accessing it through the Temple of Crota. Now once you enter the Shrine of Oryx if you head over to the left hand side you'll find it on the far side of the rune towards the middle of the shrine. Now once we have all the Hawk's feathers we need to return to the Crow over in the Tangled Shore and we need to follow his dreams and travel back to the European Dead Zone and complete the mission Cry From Beyond. Now you'll find this is a new area on the backside of the Hallowed Grove Lost Sector which is an area that I accessed last week however this now has a full mission associated to it and with that you'll need to complete it and at the end you'll be given the effigy of Hawkmoon. Now in order to get Hawkmoon itself we will now need to reforge the effigy into Hawkmoon. Now once you've returned to the Crow you'll now need to strengthen the Hawkmoon itself by collecting and generating orbs of power. Now the fastest place to do this we found was over in the Blind Well. If you return to the Dreaming City it's very easy to get supers and you can cycle supers between you and your fire team to generate many orbs between you. That being said make sure you have masterwork weapons across the board to help you generate orbs of power as you defeat combatants. Alternative areas that you could use for example is the Altar of Sorrow over on the moon. This is again a large public space that has many adds that spawn in very confined spaces allowing you to generate lots of orbs of power in the shortest time possible. But all in all we jumped into the blind well and it literally took three rounds within one tier to get all 50 orbs. And once you have all 50 you'll need to return to the crow over in the tangled shore once again and he'll send you on a brand new mission over in the European dead zone. You'll find us in the trust land over by Devrin K and as part of this mission we need to collect more feathers for the hawk as we progress through the missions. These ones though are highlighted as you work your way through so they're very easy to see and very hard to miss and you'll need to complete the mission in order to progress on to the next step. Now once again having spoken to the crow he'll send us out to defeat either champions or guardians within gambit or crucible. Now you can do this in any activity that you like. Now bear in mind that guardian kills count as half a percent so you will need to kill nearly 200 guardians in order to complete this step if you decide to do it inside the crucible. However if you do it as champions every champion kill 
will count as 3%. Now the fastest way we found was by jumping into elect difficulty empire hunts, especially the dark priestess which is available this week. You can complete this entire elect difficulty empire hunt in little around 5 to 6 minutes and within that you have around 7 to 8 champions. So as long as you get tags on them you can complete this very quickly either solo or as part of a fire team and we found by running just 4 elect difficulty empire hunts in order to get all the progress that we needed. And once you completed this you'll need to enter the mission called the crow and the hawk and you can find this in the european dead zone and this will allow you to reforge the hawk moon itself now within this mission we return to the section on the back side of the hallow grow lost sector however this time we take an alternative route passing hawks as we progress through the level and once you get to the end you'll need to face the forces of savathun which has now consumed the shard of the traveler now in order to effectively defeat the mages in this part of the mission you'll need to defeat the glowing acolytes who will drop an orb and you'll use this orb to take off the mage's shield very reminiscent to the corrupted strike and once you've defeated all the mages in the room you will have successfully reforged the hawk moon now interestingly hawk moon is actually one of the first randomly rolled exotics it comes with the exotic perk called transformative where future drops of this weapon will have a random roll and it also comes with the main exotic intrinsic trait paracausal shot this is where final blows and precision hits with hawk moon grant stacks of paracausal charge the final round of the magazine deals bonus damage based on the number of stacks and stowing hawk moon on the final round will remove this bonus it has eight in the magazine and there's 140 rounds per minute. So there we have it guys, that is each and every step and all the locations to the feathers, but also the most effective way to defeat champions in order to quickly get your hands on this new exotic hand cannon reprised from Destiny 1. Now if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're brand new here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, and there'll be much more Destiny 2 content in the next couple of weeks and months, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.